How's it going, everyone? My name's Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to some Omori. Last episode, we... Fuck. Oh, yeah, how could I forget? We, uh, <laughs> you know, we saw Basil sort of mentally snap, so that was really cool, and... Uh, we got back here, you know, to Dreamland, obviously, conquered our fear of spiders, and... Now, now we're in this weird-ass forest, just having a grand old time. Hey, bear, well, what's your deal? Please, please, let, fill me in. Oh, oh, you're an asshole. That, that's your deal. Oh my god. You looked a lot nicer on the, on the overworld, rare bear. Rare, huh? Interesting. Well, I'm gonna mock you, you dumb bitch. You're gonna look like a goddamn idiot. Uh, Aubrey attacks the phone, becomes happy. Absolutely. Do a little twirl, Aubrey. And, uh, you know, ev everyone else can just chill. Oh yeah, also, fucking smile, hero. Why not? Ah, oh, what a fucking... Mmm. Mmm. Just such a beautiful man. Mori did not... Holy Jesus! I was not paying attention at all. Do it! Hit that rare bear right in the heart. Dumb little bitch. And Aubrey feels happy. Isn't that great? Okay, um... Uh, how much health do you have left? Oh, that's good. What a way to start the day, am I right? Just right off with a fucking mini-boss. Okay, um... Uh, shit. Just, just punch him in the face, Kel. And try and heal, Omori. Rare Bear slashes at Kel. Oh, Kel's dead. Yep, okay, I don't I don't think Rare Bear is playing around. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's try Bread Slice, even though he's not gonna die. I just wanna see what it does. And yeah, the rest of you just punch the shit out of him. Oh, Hero, you didn't have to cook another cookie for Omori. But, you know, you did. So, that's nice. Hit him again. Hit him again. I mean, I would. I should probably save up for my team attack, but nah, it's fine. Bro. Oh. Interesting. Is that how it's always been? Where she sends a heart and Omori sends a question mark? Hmm. Hmm, Aubrey. I trust nothing. Say, we might just squeeze this one out. Oh, well, uh, Hero ran out of cook, so probably not. We shall see. Destroy him. Come on, moving attack. So good, Aubrey. God, I, I really don't like you anymore, but... You know, it's not that I don't like you anymore, it's just, it's hard to settle on how I feel about you. Oh, Amori died, for the first time ever. Blacked out. Oh, Amori cannot die, or the whole game's over. Right. I guess that would make sense. Except it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he is the dreaming one, isn't he? Yeah, I wanna retry, you ass. Oh, you meant retry the fight. No, I think I'm gonna run instead. Uh... Bye, Rare Bear. I, I don't think I got what it takes. I do not think I got what it takes. Got a present, though, so life's all good. Kel grew to level 9 and learned Run and Gun. What a fucking good guy. What, Run and Gun? Kel, please. You can't just become, you know, member of the goddamn... I don't know, I was gonna say Trace Leches, but that is not the name of a gay gang. That's the name of a fucking delicious snack. Uh, Run and Gun. Kel doesn't attack based on his speed instead of his attack. Uh, well, well, what is your speed? Uh, hit me. God, why can't I just look at your fucking stats in the same screen? No, you have to go to the equip screen and then look at the stats. Isn't that great? Okay, so speed's 22. Attack is 16. All right. I, I guess that would be rather beneficial, wouldn't it, Kel? Uh, what, what charms do I have? Oh, yeah, I got the eye patch. Attack 7, but reduces hit rate. Uh... Uh, I'll probably give that to Aubrey. Uh, brightens up a room. Nah. Defense 1, luck 3, increases hit rate. Ah. And the backpack's just defense 2, right? Yeah. Um. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna hit you with that sweet, uh, uh, flashlight. Aubrey has the TV remote. Isn't that nice? 2 defense, 5 heart. That's fucking dumb. Let's do the seer goggles for good old Aubrey. And... Uh, hero, what do you have? Probably nothing. Bubble wrap, okay. Um, uh, yeah, actually, I think that's probably pretty much good. Actually, trade it with the TV remote. Yeah, yeah. And Amori has the cat ears, right? Cotton ball. Where are my cat ears? I re I demand an explanation. I demand reparations. Cat ears, get in my pockets right now. Thank you. Give that shit to Amori. Uh, cat ears. Defense one, speed 10. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, there's actually a way to go over there, so let's uh, let's, uh, let's take a little gander, huh? Sorry, don't know what's wrong with me. Can't fucking speak, man. All right, cut, and then up and up and up and up and cut, and then up and up and up and up and cut, and then up and up and up and up and uh, that was really easy. You you spiders made that super easy. Not gonna lie to you. All right then, I'll be on my way. So how do I re-implant the tracks? Oh my god, you just set it down. God damn it, I tried that over here and it didn't work. So, why, why do you mess with me, huh? Yep, 
And any others? Probably not. But there's a melon. Got fries. I love fries. Fries are the best. All right, and yeah, there's more track. I love more track. Oh, yeah, okay. So you gotta break it with the thingy thing. I get it. Where could the last track be? I swear to God, if bitch ass Rare Bear gives me beef with the goddamn train tracks, I will be very annoyed. I don't wanna have to grind. Perhaps this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done this one yet. Okay. Spider. And spider. And beautiful. Oh, <laughs> really? Where are you gonna where are you gonna drop me? Wow. That's just that's just really dickish. You know, actually, it's actually kinda nice, you know? It's almost like a favor. Thank you, good spider, for the taxi service that you and only you can possibly provide. And put it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it down. Beautiful. And... Okay, sorry, potted plant. I was debating with you whether I wanted to destroy you, but I guess yes is the answer. Man, these this fucking Bugs Bunny and this dumbass plant are really giving me some beef. I'm not gonna lie, but it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Fantastic. Anyone level up? I, I doubt it. But I found a tomato. Hell yeah. Love tomatoes. Never found a tomato. All right, yeah, we can go uh, ride the minecart now. Off we go. Nope, nope. Uh, watermelon. Uh, I just wanted the watermelon, Buck Bunny. More grew to level 11. Amazing. And he didn't even learn anything crazy like stab in the heart. Cherry soda. Beautiful. Into the cart we go, friends. I don't, I don't know how we all collapse into each other, but you know what? It's a dream world. Everyone, crawl into my disgusting orifices. Don't, don't think about that. Oh shit, really picking up the pace, huh? That's crazy talk. Off we, oh my god. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Why we gain that much speed instantly? We don't think about things. I like these flowers. Uh, they remind me of Plume, Pokemon. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can't wait. All aboard? Or all off aboard, I mean. <laughs> it's completely the opposite of Tom Hanks and the Polar Express. Oh, cool. Uh, Pluto place. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to discover that first. Whatever. Basil, are you here? Probably not. Basil, where are you? Dead. I'm sorry. Hmm. Doesn't look like Basil's here either. Yes. <laughs> hey, look. It's Marie. Oh, yeah. It's Marie. Just teleporting her picnic basket. Marie. Marie. Uh-huh. Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Marie? I... I was so scared. <sighs> Bruh. Is Hero a simp? I don't think Hero's a simp. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> it's times like these, I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find him so creepy. I'm not sure that would help him right now. Yeah, me, me neither. Oh, Hero, you're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe, or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> yep, uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah, you totally just outgrow your deep-seated fears. They absolutely don't become scars on your mind. I'll wait for Pluto. Why not? I, I just want to make sure that I don't need to, like, discover these things before using them again. Greetings and welcome to Pluto's space line. Where will your journey take you today? Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't need to discover you. <laughs> Off he goes. What a guy. What an absolute fucking chad. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Hey, buddy. Uh, nacho? I thought that said popcorn. I'm so sorry. 100 clams, man. That's just... That's just so much. Suggested serving size. Six to eight nachos. Hmm. I don't know about that. Probably gonna go above the, uh, the old serving size. Okay, we're gonna buy a few popcorns because that's fucking rad. It heals all of our, uh, people some health. And... Uh, would not be remiss to own some life jam, would it? No, I would say no. Yeah, some some life jam wouldn't be bad. I can spend all my clams on that. And can I sell you things as well, Mr. Mailbox? Right? Yeah, sell. Uh, what can I sell you? Tofu, candy, s'mores, chicken wing. Okay, I un I understand everything. I don't think I'm gonna be using these items to damage enemies. I feel like maybe that'd be a mistake to not use them, but. I don't know. It's like battle items in Pokemon. I just never fucking use that shit. So we're gonna sell that shit for money. Oh yeah, and the gold watch. Take it, brother. Yeah, sweet. Now I'm rolling in fucking clams again. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, what's your deal? Uh. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. The sweetheart sucked the souls out of. Oh. Uh, I, I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and operate on. Yes. That's absolutely what she does. Yep. Dead man. 
Just a dead man. All right. I love wading through the hordes of dead tiny animals to get to the, the theater show. It's great. Jesus Christ. Let me guess. Oh, no. I thought someone was going to ask some dumb shit like, what happened here? No. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh, my God. It's like a human centipede. Okay. Sure. This is happening now. This is just a thing that, that happens. King Crawler. What a guy. Oh, shit. I really should have healed before I fucking did this. I thought I did, but uh, apparently no. So do a little twirl, Aubrey, and make him hissed off, Kel, and cook for Aubrey, good friend. <laughs> Oh, King Crawler's annoyed now. Charges forward. Oh my god. Okay, making him angry is a mistake, I believe. A sprout mole appears. Don't, don't fucking do that. Okay, mock King Crawler. He's a dumb little bitch. And, oh god. Oh god, Kel, you are dead as shit. Uh, try, try and cook for Kel, I suppose. Perhaps that'll work. You know, maybe if I lower his dumbass attack enough, it'll be okay. Kel's ball bounces everywhere! Okay, beautiful. Just kill that stupid sprout mole. It, it deserves to die. Okay, wow. Lowering his attack did nothing. Great. King Crawler eats a sprout mole! Are you kidding me? Does he restore that health? He definitely does. What am I talking about? Isn't that great? Oh, and he feels nice and happy now. Isn't that nice? Uh, fuck. Um, just attack and hero, son of a bitch. We need, ah, uh, fuck. We need to start using, uh, we need to start using life jam. I believe. I do believe, indeed. Okay, bring back Aubrey. Kel, Kel's fine, but he's no Aubrey. Trip him. Okay, I don't think I tripped him enough. Nope, did not at all. Use some life jam. Aubrey rose from the grave like the disgusting being she is, and we keep on killing a worm. Okay, and hero, cook for yourself. Hopefully you can get that off. Trip him. Trip him. Just try and debuff him as much as you can. As much as you humanly can. Are we sad? God damn. Damn it. Speed him. Uh, I really shouldn't have tripped him. I should have saved for my team attack, but that's okay. Uh, what do you got? Uh, 33. All right. All right. But at least you're the last in line, you big disgusting monster. Look at this monster. Just keep punching him. Oh my God. We haven't done shit to him, man. We haven't done shit to him. Uh, shit. Uh, happy is not good right now because he is sad. Uh, damn it. Just keep punching him, I guess. I guess that's our life. And cook for Aubrey hero. Just hope. Hope and pray. That's all we can really do. Oh, slammed him right in the heart. That's okay. That's all right. Sprout Mole appears. That's not okay. That's not all right. Okay, Amori. Uh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Uh, life jam on... Ah, uh, Kel would be really useful because rebound is really useful. Okay, okay. Um, and then... Son of a bitch. Uh, just try and destroy the Sprout Mole because hitting him is useless if we don't kill him. And... Cook for yourself, hero. God damn it. Kel's back, and Kel is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? That is goddamn horseshit. They should not be able to do that. Like, what the fuck? How would you even have known that I would have re revived him, you know? But he eats a sprout mole instantly, so that's great. Oh, good. Now he's happy and healthy. Oh, my God. Is he back at full health? What do I do? What, what the fuck do I do? Fuck it. You're happy? That's funny. I got a rain cloud, you big bastard. Um... Man, these skills are just not doing it, man. Nothing is going right. Uh, nothing is going right at all. Uh, attack. Man, I, I, I just don't even know. I just don't even know. All right, uh, 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 use a star fruit soda, hero. Why not? You just need more, you need more of that shit. And now we all feel sad. Isn't that great? And now we can just destroy him, right? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, I see it now. This this is the battle that teaches you to really start using the emotions and to switch them on a dime and try and figure out how to do that. Okay. Um, gonna just attack him. I think we're just gonna beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I could risk bringing Kel back, but at this point he wouldn't be sad, so I don't know. <gasps> Release energy! Release energy! Why didn't it work? It said it would work, and then it didn't. Okay, uh, we're all pretty much okay. It sucks we're losing juice now, especially Hero. Um, but it should be okay. It should be alright. Yeah, everyone just keep attacking. Release energy! Why can't I do it? Are you telling me I can't release energy on this battle? That's dumb. 
That's bullshit. Like, you can't just take away features because you think it would make a battle too easy, Omori. That's not ba- that's not balance. <sighs> a Sprout Mole appears. God. Damn it. God damn it. Just destroy the Sprout Mole. Just destroy the Sprout Mole. If you can, destroy it. Attack again. Why not, Omori? Because we can't release energy, right? Fuck it. No, nope, don't slam into Hero, you goddamn douchebag. And... What did I just say? Okay, kill it. Just please kill it. Please be dead. Yep. Oh, what a bro moment. Oh, that's such a bro moment. Okay, destroy. Please be dead? No. No. Okay, yes, yes. No healing for you, little dumb fuck. Okay, and attack, and attack, and hero cook for Omori. Beautiful. And attack again. Fuck it. I mean, if I can't release energy, it's just... It's the thing to do. Owie. Owie waba. Don't do that shit. And look at Omori. Uh, I forgot what looking at Hero does, but we'll figure it out. Well, maybe. Do it again. Beautiful. Amori didn't notice Aubrey. It's goddamn beautiful. All right. And heal him up. All right. All right. We got this in the bag, I think. He's not changing emotions anymore. All right. There we go. That's it. That's got to be it, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Amori's party was victorious. You gained 30-30 XP. You got 511 clams. You found Sprout Mole Masks and Tofu. And I grew to level 12, and learned Lucky Slice. And Abra grew to level 12, learned Team Spirit. Hero grew to level 12. Isn't that great? So, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why was there a human centipede of Sprout Moles? We, we don't question. We just don't ask questions. I love it. Nothing will get you the answer quicker than asking a grand total of absolutely zero questions. Oh. Right, then. Okay. Going down. That's nice. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Sprout Mole Village. Oh. Okay. Oh. Did I just kill, like, their matriarch? Or something horrible? Wait, let's not worry about it. Let's just, let's just say no. Say, Marie, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, by the way, what? How do I get on that level? How do I, how do I interact with stuff up there? Oh, okay, I just gotta look at it. Uh... Would you like some juicy tomatoes? No, I'm okay. Uh, Marie, what the hell? These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know? Sprout moles really love tofu. I brought some tofu at a tofu stand- I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to free- God, I hate my life. I hate reading. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, is that- is that your life? Cool. Love it. Hey, bud. I hate Mondays. Nice. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony. Ever since the great move, it was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Of oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now. For the most part. Huh. So the mass migration is what made you guys just like curl up and die? That's nice. Hey, you there! You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the sprout mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but... I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Yeah, why not? Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. You got a care package. Super cool. Make sure it gets to him safely. I can do that. No worries. Although, I don't know when I'm gonna go back to Otherworld. Seems like a waste of time. Not a waste, but, you know, just out of the way. Ah, hello. Strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second. I know this show. We have a front we have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness, oh the drama. Okay, Aubrey. This is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero. We should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. <laughs> if I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sproutmull, sir. We have our tickets right here. Aubrey reached into your pocket and took out the show tickets. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for asking me. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmull. Yep. Oh. Oh, my. I, I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, the four of you are the most normal looking sprout moles I've ever seen. You please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to investigate the stuff on the table a little bit, though. Okay, yeah, it's just the poster, and I'm assuming just, like, her head. Table full of merchandise. I'm an obnoxious-looking person. Great. Great. But we're going down. We're going past the progress first, because that's what I do. Uh, what's up, buddy? This wall is nice and cold. <laughs> yeah? That wall is nice and cold. All right, whatever you say. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. <laughs> My god, it's amazing! Revolutionary! God damn it. Did it... Do you think we'll still all be friends after we graduate? Sure. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. Astounding. I have no idea what I'm doing. Amazing. What an accurate representation of school. This room is occupied. Great. Cannot be disturbed right now. Uh, no humans allowed. What? This room is for sprout moles only. What? But no humans allowed. So... Okay. How dare you speak such blasphemy? This is only common knowledge that tofu's better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu, tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold. Like, I don't know. L lukewarm? Huh? Ew. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu's better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu's better than that. Look at you, hero. You just know the greatest way to fucking fix everyone's problems. I just love him. Oh yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats in sliced bread. Tofu? Sure. C'est mag magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. The best way to add flavor to tofu is to glaze it until golden, and add a marinade. It will absorb all the flavors until the sauce becomes syrup that sticks to the pan. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> Bruh, bru, what's going on here? Never hurts to have some tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situations with tofu. It's five health. What are you people talking about? Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Because you got a bunch of leaves. All right. Hello, sir or madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam. Nah, I, th I think I'm okay. I respect your decision. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a curious man. A bunch of books. But all the pages are glued shut. <laughs> Fantastic! We're doing so much good learning down here. And eh, nothing? Okay. Alright, let's go watch a theater show, huh? Or wait! There was something down. There was a way to go down. Oh, there's two ways down. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I was debating in my head whether I actually wanted to continue exploring or just go see the theater, but I do indeed. You wanna cut the wire? No! Not without knowing what the hell it does! I'm working on revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony! Nay, the world! Really? Interesting. Uh, God, careful, child! Could have ruined an, ex an incredibly delicate concoction! If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough, enough force to destroy this entire village! You really shouldn't have told Omori that. Something tells me Omori's gonna have fun. Are you kidding me? Astounding. Hi there. I bet you're really friendly, huh? Mmm. Yep, King Carnival and his roots. Uh... Oh, uh, let's just leave this for another day. Oh, uh, we couldn't get away. Well, that's great. No, 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 no. Run! Okay, all right, we did it. We did it. No, no taking on King Carnivine. Oh, uh, wait, nope, okay, cool. Not Carnivine, Carnivore, well, oh. Okay, we're cutting the wire. You wanna cut the wire? Yep. Bye-bye, motherfucker. Come on, hit him with that Bugs Bunny. Beautiful. Love ruthless murder with anvils. It's just, it's just great, you know? Why would I ever take King Carnivore's advice? Oh, interesting though. It means I miss out on a lot of clams and XP. Interesting, we'll see if that's worth it. Orange juice, and combo meal, and life jam. You know, that's fine, it works. Works for me, old man. Off I go to the other side of the downstairs. Down, down, down we go. Oh cool, laundry, love it. Squawk? <laughs> bird mole? Squawk? I, I hate it. I hate everything about bird mole. Swish, swish, swish. <sighs> Ugh, winter. Maybe snowing outside, but winter is time for friends and family. 
Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa. Most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter's the best season, don't you agree? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, this does not bring me joy. I could give a fuck. Fall, autumn leaves, comfy clothes, the smell of cinnamon. The perfect time to cuddle up with a buck. And with holidays right around the corner, you just gotta love fall. Fall's the best season, don't you agree? You're wrong. You are wrong. Well, we can agree to disagree then. You are wrong. Objectively, I'm sorry. Ah, summer. The sand, the sun, the beach, the waves. Not to mention, summer vacation. Finally, some time for rest and relaxation. That's what life is all about. Summer's the best season, don't you agree? Fuck no. Oh, boo. Yeah, I know the best season. Ah, spring. Spring brings us beauty. Spring brings us joy. Spring brings us life. Spring brings us a rejuvenating spirit to start things anew. Spring's the best season. Don't you agree? Hell yeah. Yes, yes, spring is the best. I'm glad you agree. Here's a gift from me. Please enjoy it. Got a watering pail. Huh, I'm a spring sympathizer. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm assuming that's a charm. Watering pail. Juice plus 10. Oh, that's going straight on hero, baby girl. Thank you so much. And... Uh, what do I have on Kel? Like, speed, right? No, defense. Okay. I guess that works. Yeah, I, I guess all this works. It just works. And Flamingo. Rawr! I'm the mood of Rosa. Rawr, rawr! The number one sweetheart fan in the world. Uh, actually, I've met the number one sweetheart fan in the world, and she lives in Otherworld inside of a fucking model of sweetheart's head. If, if you want to try and beat that, go ahead. Like this. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Excellent. I love this game. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Fantastic. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm just fucking huffing all over the place. All right, good for you, man. Oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, all right. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. Only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Like. What? Like, like, okay, whatever. Like a bed or something? Do I, do I have something that he could use? Important faux facts, uh, care package, sprout mole masks. Mask made out of sprout moles. That's weird. I, I don't like that at all. A snow cone ticket can be used as a snow cone machine. Oh, uh, we gotta remember that, because I want a fucking snow cone bad, bro. The level at which this soundtrack is inspired by Undertale is actually kind of incredible. Like, I can just I can just hear it in so many of the notes. Like, it, I don't know. It almost feels like an Undertale Part 2 soundtrack, and I fucking love it. I can't get over how much I love it. What do we got? Oh, uh, just a bunch of sprout moles. That makes sense, you know? Packed house. Nice. Oh, actually. Oh yeah, packed house. Cool. Why are they all pink? You know, I don't think sprout moles are pink. I don't. I don't think that's how they work. Uh, hey, sweetheart, sweetheart, she's the only one for me. Sweetheart, she's a goddess walking among us. We're so blessed. My love for sweetheart knows no bounds. I'm not talking to every one of these, but sweetheart is perfect. She makes no mistakes. Hey, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What? It is not alive. I knew I should check them all. It's dead. The fuck, sweetheart? Here there used to be a library here. Then sweetheart build a stage over it. it. Needs to read when you have sweetheart. Jesus. Yeah, you already know I'm fucking checking to see how many of these things are dead. I used to only like sweetheart ironically. Now here I am. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's like anime fans. A tomato by any other name would taste just as juicy. Okay. S is for stunning. W is for wonderful- oh my god, no. Delicious tofu. Could I maybe snap them out of their trance with tofu? H is for headstrong, E is for example- oh my god. I came here with my family, but we were separated on the way here. I may never see them ever again. Jesus Christ, man. Sweetheart's a fucking insane person. A lot of these guys just say the same thing, which is why I, uh, I'm not showing all of them, by the way. It's just, I need, uh, I heard that Sweetheart is actually a donut. Wonder if the rumors are true. See, like, I just want... I want to know everything. I want to know everything. I'm just here for a good time. <laughs> good for you, man. Good for you. You know, everyone else is like, help, she's in my mind. And you're just like, I'm good. No, no, wow. Look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start. Okay, Aubrey. I, I actually don't want to do that right now. So, no. Show hasn't even started and I'm already shaking. Why won't the shaking stop? Oh my god. Okay. 
Alright, I get the gist. I just, I want to know them all. Sweetheart is Scarlet Witch. If you're not getting it, she's totally just, totally brainwashing all these guys right now. I gave up my entire supply of tofu for this seat. Wow, what an asshole. I gave up my college savings for this seat. I gave up my house for this seat. I gave up my soul for this seat. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna go on stage. Okay, no, nope. uh, okay. Uh, I guess Aubrey wouldn't appreciate us upstaging the boom. Should I sit here? <laughs> this, this does not seem like a good idea. You know, are we healed? Are we healed? Yeah, we're healed. I'm gonna go save real quick. Where are you going, Amori? We have to watch this show. Oh my God, okay. Okay, Mar fucking Aubrey, not Marie. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Yes. Yes, I am. Let's watch a show, huh? Get some culture in our bones. Okay, guys, if we could shut up. You know, an audience is supposed to be silent. Thanks. <laughs> this fucking guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Thank you, thank you, yeah. For our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who's been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye old Sprout. <laughs> uh, hand over your heart, boys. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of them. Hmm. May he rest in peace. God bless ye old Sprout Mole. God bless. And now, on to the show! Alright, yeah, got all that sappy shit out of the way, let's go. Oh, I thought, for some reason I thought, uh, Sweetheart was a monster. You know, her bow kinda looks like eyeballs and her face kinda looks like a big old mouth going Grr! Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Contestant number one is of a local Sprout Mole village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. One, yeah, what a guy, hell yeah, love contestant one. Contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm. Spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. All right, yeah. Loving it. I'm loving the show. A lot different than what I expected. Super cool. And now, for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. Oh, I remember you. It's like he just fell out of the sky. Literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. Yeah, I remember Snaily. All right. Oh, people don't like Snaily as much. Fuck you guys. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. Oh God, I can't wait. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pultritude in his face. Okay. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big, warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, Sweetheart! Oh. Oh, really? Oh, Snaily, no! No! Poor guy! The fuck? Oh, no, there's a blackout! Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. Uh-huh. Help! We don't know what to do! <laughs> help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'll help. Uh, well, maybe we should look around. Just in case. <laughs> Just, just in case, just in case, hero. Help! Okay, uh, wait. What? So, okay, no. All right, it must ha be happening in the in the town. That makes sense. Okay, off we go. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of the Sprout Mole villages, too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. 
cases like this, you should probably be looking for uh, some kind of backup generator. Okay, cool, let's do it. But unfortunately, it'll have to be on the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode of Amori, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've gotta go. So, peace out, everyone!